Uh, just asking Manny about you know, leadership on the offensive side, you know, and getting guys to rise to the occasion and make sure that they show up this week and kind of don't let what happened last week happen again. Do you see a difference this week? You said this Tuesday practice was probably the second fastest of the year. Yeah, I mean, just coming back from last week, we're just trying to, you know, restart and, and work. Um, you know, we got a lot of young guys on offense, um, but, you know, what Coach talked about this week is work and energy. You know, uh, we come back in, you know, restart, and we, and we work our butts off. You know, that's what we that's what we do here at Miami, so that don't change. Well, did it stun you at all that you guys came out as flat as you did on, against FIU? As a guy who's been here, you know. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Yeah. What did you say? Did, did, did any leaders sort of – I mean, we heard stories about you trying to encourage Jaron on the sideline, but – I guess were other were other guys being vocal about it. Hey, we got to wake up, type of deal. Yeah, we talked. We, we talked a lot on the sideline. We talked in the locker room. We've heard a couple times like good Wednesday practice, good Tuesday practice, and hasn't necessarily translated to game day. Is there anything uh, like a, a theme you see sometimes maybe on like the Friday before the game, or even going like I don't know, is there a cure to that to make it not just tran transition from week to week, but from day to day at this point? Uh. I don't really see a trend. I mean, we can only, you know, control what we control and, and one day at a time. So, you know, just because we have a good Wednesday practice doesn't mean we're going to necessarily play good on Saturday. You know, you execute that play on Wednesday, you got to do it again on Saturday. Um, so, I mean, obviously, you know, practicing good, obviously, you know, that's what you want to do. But, you know, also at the end of the day, you got to go out there and execute, you know, um, when the moments, you know, the real moment comes. The KJ coach was talking about, like, they sort of want more player-led discipline in practices, mm -hmm. like where you guys say, listen, you're not doing it you know, you got to do some sort of punishment, whatever. Like, how how does that work, I guess? Is it something that's working? Um, is it something that's maybe changed since the FIU game? Can you just talk about that whole system a little bit? Oh, yeah, we've had, I mean, we've had, you know, player accountability. And again, the coaches say, you know, they want to see it like more player-led. So rather it was, you know, yesterday, you know, we're messing up, you know, I'm leading the up-downs or something like that. Um, today, you know, and then you started seeing, you know, yesterday it was really just me. And then today, you know, if something messes up, you know, if somebody messes up, you like, you know, you know, I messed up, you know, I got it, guys, and, you know, he'll lead it or something like that. You know, everybody just hold themselves accountable, whether it's a senior or a freshman. Um, you know, just know that, you know, everybody has a role. So does the whole wide receiver unit do up-downs together, whole offense, you mean? Whole offense. Whole offense. If one player does something wrong, the whole, whole offense, offense, is that, and when did that, was that with game one, or this is something, like, more recent? Um, it's something, like, more recent, but, I mean, even before, like, um, you know, if, if it wasn't up-downs, it was, you know, push-ups in the locker room. Like, it's one of the things that... You know, uh, myself, the tight ends, the quarterback, all we, you know, for, for drops or, or wrong routes. You know, we, we get on each other, you know, they'll give the coaches push ups out here, and then I'll find somebody, especially like me and Cam Harris. Like, definitely, if Cam does something, I go in his locker, like, oh, you owe me 10. And he's like, oh, you owe me 10. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's, it becomes like, you know, it's kind of funny, but I mean, we're holding each other accountable. Um, and it almost, you know, becomes a game, you know, we, we compete. Well, what if a kid's not practicing hard enough? Is that up to you as a player to say that? Would a coach say that? Like, oh, that's, that's everybody. I mean, that's not really a. I don't, we don't really have that problem with guys not not practicing hard. That's that's not our standard. So that's that's not that's something you know a coach won't even have to say that. If that's that's definitely player led, but that doesn't happen. Where do you see Jaren's mentality after kind of what happened last week? Because you you had the big game against Louisville, then struggled against Duke. He's a young guy. Uh, I mean, he's he's out here working. Um, you know, I mean, even today, you know, uh, today we're we're emphasizing third down. We'd have a good third down day against FIU. And, you know, we're out here, you know, he's looking at me. He's like, you know, KJ, get open. You know, KJ, make sure you're working. Like, you know, he's making sure I'm on me. So now I'm, I'm lining up. I'm looking at him. He says that. And I'm like, you know, that, that really gives me confidence. Like, all right, my quarterback is on his game. Let me get open for him so I can get him an easy throw. So um, I think he's on his game. You think he's cool. evolved as, as a leader at all, be, becoming more vocal? Because it's hard when you're a redshirt freshman, even right. if you're quarterback. That he has, has there been a progress in that regard where he's yelling at guys more, holding guys more accountable? Yeah, I think so. I'm not necessarily, like, yelling, but just, just communication. Um, mm -hmm. Just like, you know, with chemistry, you know, where somebody's going to be or emphasizing third down or a lot, a lot of times made him talk about, you know, his reads and what he's looking at and things like that. So I think he's definitely evolved. I mean, since I've known him uh, coming in, like, February. He had six interceptions this year. Both of them were <coughs> two games and three interceptions. So they really kind of come in bunches for him. Is there something, I don't know, with him where you know, the national <laughs> English should be like, just watch from the outside or I get spot us? Is there anything to that? I don't know, like him overthinking maybe one team he throws that first one, trying to do too much? Or? No, I, I, don't, I don't think so at all. I mean, and if he, whatever is going on, I mean, that's in the quarterback room. I'm, and I'm sure Coach, you know, does a great job of, you know, coaching him up to, you know, to make sure that doesn't happen. But um, I don't think so. All right.